you're telling me that I can't even open a door for a woman because this is somehow an offense to her honor. And that if I say that it's man's job to protect women, that this is somehow reinforcing gender stereotypes, then don't come whining to me when bad stuff happens. Because one of the things that's happened is that traditional masculinity, the idea that it is a man's job to protect women, this is one of our jobs as human beings, as men, to protect women, the feminist movement doesn't like that. Well, then you can't blame us for not protecting women if you don't want us to protect women. If we are going to fight sexual harassment and sexual assault, it seems to me that we have to do a couple of things. One, we have to reinvest sex with value beyond just a physical transaction. It's not just two people who are getting each other's rocks off. It actually means something beyond that. There's a relationship that's attached to it. Um, and beyond that, I think that we need to re-inculcate in men themselves, not just the teach men not to rape routine. Like, again, it's such a weird concept. Like, when I was 11, my dad didn't sit me down and say, son, don't rape people. <laughs> My question is just, uh, I looked at some data while you were speaking about the uh, gender pay gap in the UK and the US. So apparently it's 17% in the UK and 19% in the, U in the US. No, it's not. Yes. And uh, it's WEF data, so yeah. I just it, looked it at that. Right so maybe, maybe the gender World pay Economic gap. from in 2015, right. uh, in so percentage. Ha happy to talk no, no, about this. Uh, yeah, yeah, this so is like, my question is basically, yeah. what do you think are the causes of this? It, it yeah. doesn't exist. Well, do no, you, it, I, there is a cause for it. I'll tell you what it is. And do you think there should be public measures to tackle it? And yeah, the causes and the public Fair reaction. Fair question. So I, get it, I get it all the time because obviously I'm like the anti-feminist. So people are always like, how can you deny the gender, uh, the, the wage gap? Okay. Um, so uh, when I went to university, all of the girls that I was friends with were majoring in fashion and textiles and merchandising. Um, and they all went off to intern at Vogue. Um, and pick out Prada bags that maybe Kate Moss would wear on the cover of something. Um, the average pay for that, if you want to be in fashion when you get out of school, is $20,000. Men were majoring in business and engineering and, and things that when you get out of school, you get paid more. If our interests, if we're going to go in and we're not going to be taking serious majors and we are just, we're shocked when we find out the world doesn't need, need more people to pick out Prada bags for Kate Moss's shoot, I mean, that's not a gender, that's not a gender wage gap, that's an interest gap, right? And, and that's what's happening. Also, women, we, we have different interests. Women aspire to get married, they aspire to have children. They leave, the, they, they leave the workforce earlier. Every single one of my girlfriends, I'm not, what I'm saying is that a person that is a brain surgeon should not get paid the same amount as a person that wants to pick out Prada bags for the rest of her life. I mean, this is what's going on in America. When you look at the, that the, of the wage gap, they're not telling you what the jobs actually are and what women are going into in terms of their majors in university. When you're taking feminist dance class 101, you're not going to make six figures when you go out of university. That's just the truth. And women, if there was a real feminist woman, a movement would talk about that, would say, hey, if you want to make as much as men, maybe we should be majoring in engineering and things like that, but we don't because we have different interests, which is fine. But you then can't complain and think that we should now have a society that forces, what are we going to do? Are we going to have like a government that says now we have to pay women that want to go into fashion six figures to make them feel good and like they're doing things that are productive in society? Like we, that's not that's not a practical solution. If we want to get serious, if women want to make more than men, they do. It's actually been proven statistically so, in America that when they go into the same majors and take on the same jobs, women get paid more than men in those particular fields. So I'll, for Google, for I'll, I, I'm going to comment on this in a variety of different ways. Google, for example, did a pay equity audit uh, two weeks ago. <laughs> that was last week. And uh, Google said we must go after uh, gender-based wage discrimination. Turns out that uh, men were being significantly underpaid at Google, so they dished out $9 million in bonuses to men at Google because women were being overpaid. Uh, a couple things. First of all, if you just lazily, as the, some of the studies that you referenced, not you're being lazy, but the studies are lazy, extrapolate all the women and all the men at a certain age and don't What are some good places to find high-value women? Uh, the library, <laughs> um, church, uh, masjid, uh, what else? Clubs, you know, if she's like a, inside of a certain type of club in a school, but you gotta be careful for the feminists. A lot of feminists are in clubs and, uh, and the LGBT supporters. You know. The problem mentally, I feel like they're because you know, I'm not going to get into that, but uh, more places to find high value women <laughs> at home. They they will be at home. <laughs> usually, usually in areas areas that will uh, where most poor people aren't. Now, to say that you can't find a high value woman on the street, you can you can 
look how she's dressed, look how she's conducting herself. But you have to be able to filter. You have to have a good filtering mechanism, ultimately. That Alright, unpopular opinion, but I'll give it anyways. Um, so a lot of your post history is all these women who lost a significant amount of weight because their significant other left them because they were fat, obese, heavy, whatever you want to call it. So to spite them, they lost all this weight to try to make them regret their decision. My question to you is why didn't you do this when you were with them? Why didn't you take care of your own body? I mean, speaking from experience, my ex was super self-conscious, said that, you know, oh, she was fat or oh, oh, this. Okay, the work out. I go to the gym. Go with me. And where's the excuse? It seems like it's just gaslighting the issue. And, you know, it's, it's that whole, if you can't love me at my worst, then you don't deserve me at my best. Well, clearly you weren't giving your best for him. So maybe, just maybe, you were the issue, not him. What kind of a sick TikTok idea was this? This girl used this trend saying, I'm gonna pose as my rapist. Pulled a picture of an innocent man that works at a beer factory from this random website. Thinking, you know what, I'm just gonna dig through these websites and people are probably not gonna find out. You got exposed so quick. What kind of a... Bro. No. You used a picture of this innocent man to get attention. That you were... Raped? You think you think girls getting raped is a joke? Are you really that desperate? Pull up a fake story about you getting raped by this innocent man? And of course, I go look for the video. Video's not there. She switched her comments off as well, but forgot a few videos where comments are actually on. <laughs> Big mistake. <laughs> As a man, why are you hitting the curb? As a man, why don't you have your license? Oh shit, I'm on your ass. As a woman, why are you being a whore but you're just claiming you're having a hot girl summer? As a woman, why do you say that you're more than your body but you only shake that ass on TikTok? As a woman, why are you so close to the steering wheel? As a woman, why don't you just check on your boyfriend rather than seeing if he's cheating? As a woman, why can't you just steer clear instead of walking by yourself at night? As a woman, why do you blame everything else rather than just saying, hey, I'm sorry, that was my fault? As a woman, why can't you change your own tie? As a woman, why is it so hard to keep a man happy? We the simplest motherfucker! Anyways, watch me get canceled by the woman. Y'all have a good night. A good man that cares about you wants to solve your problems so that you aren't stressed or sad. So if you're not sure if your man cares deeply for you, just give him a problem and see what he does with it. But remember that all that matters is if he tries to help you. If he tries, even if unsuccessful, that man cares for you and he's a good man. Today I posted my cash app name and my oil change receipt. It was $500. Expensive, but that's not the point. So, someone sent me $500, I posted it, then somebody sent me $1,000 and I posted it. So normalize, sending the woman that you're interested in money, and if another man is sending her money, make it a cash app competition. Stop doing that. What's this? This the Pride fucking sponsored Costa coffee. Who does this help? Who does it? I'd like a skinny latte, please, with one pump of sugar-free hazelnut syrup. Would you like it in a cup that publicly displays that you're happy with the notion of same-sex couples having the right to... I just want a fucking coffee, mate. It's 6.30 a.m. and in 20 minutes I'm scheduled to interview Amber fucking Rudd. I just need the fucking caffeine. Give me my fucking skinny latte. We don't call it a skinny latte anymore, sir, because that phrase is considered fat shaming. So I would just fuck off then. 
putting a rainbow on a placemat in Wagamama's? Who is that for, exactly? Or are you just cynically hijacking an entire social movement to promote your chain of restaurants by wrapping your corporate brand in rainbow-coloured virtue to help you sell dumplings? Stop politicising my dumplings! This is, this is just a corporate extension of this modern phenomenon of demonstrating how fucking right on and fucking woke we all are. What's your biggest turn off for the guy? Is this on YouTube or something? It's when, it's when you go in his room and on his bed if it's pushed against the wall. Because if it's pushed against the wall, that means he has mommy issues. It's when they simp too hard. Can I please, can I please take you on a date? A date? Yes, please. I don't go on dates. I know, but I'm not a simp. So, that's what I'm saying, I'm not a simp. I was just kidding, I was just gonna test you and I was gonna see if you actually like simps, but you don't. High five. Any Body language hacks to be seen as confident. Been up for too many days, boy, you a bitch, you got feminine ways I get the drop, I'ma pay, they gon' spray where you stay I had to check on my man, think he part of the clan Keep a mask, he got too many K's I had to run up them bands when I got out of the can Can't go back, I got too many K's And he acting bad on the ground, but we know it's gon' happen It happen in every occasion Somebody kill, I be telling my youngest to chill these are females that you gotta stay away from. Let's get into it. Number one is Mrs. Tapestry. Mildly depressed with family problems. Don't want that. Can and probably will cheat on you. It's their loss, King. Don't worry about it. Next is the septum piercing. She a deep, so fucking lead. That ass, run. Out their way, get out of the city. Am I the only one that thinks it looks like a fucking cow or bull piercing? Like, you know, that's really cool, bro, but she definitely hooked up with her plug. Probably got prescribed antidepressants, but definitely doesn't take them, because they don't want to change themselves. Because weed is a natural drug. It's not addictive. I just spend half my paycheck on it. Next is if she drives a Jeep Wrangler. She wants to be one of the boys. Will not leave you alone. Be ready for FaceTime calls mid war zone when it's last 10. You will not have 5 minutes alone, big dog. Good luck to that. Run. Next is the one that's drier than the Grand Canyon. I'm already carrying half my team in CSGO. I don't need to carry you too. You but as you got older, what happened? Talk you saw me. the glitches in the Matrix. Uh oh. You became aware that something was rotten in Denmark and every other Western culture, uh -oh. where women seem to be going way beyond the desire for equality, mm. which is a just and noble goal. But True. the women in your culture became loud, vulgar, uh -oh. aggressive, physically unattractive, and you notice it from the sidelines of your life, comfortable in the belief that it didn't really affect you because maybe you were already married and settled. But then, something happened to your own relationship and you got a bitter taste of the new reality. Maybe your kids were taken away, your bank accounts destroyed by lawyers and greedy exes. And when you finally recovered from all that, you realized that the world you thought you lived in was now cold and barren. Uh-oh. Jesus. <laughs> let's, take a, let's take a quick pause.